I'm still part of the game. They running five drills. I'm off for the chain and I'm high still. Looking like Scorpion. Get over here. Been some people trying to relate. Ain't close to here. Think it ain't a safe place. You done missing. Turpin relationships just ain't been worth it. Fool, if you think when I don't post, I ain't working. Never too close. I know no thing certain. I walk in purpose. Float on surface. Fly in person. It's some stuff you gotta be birth with. So leaving my mark in cursing. Bleeding my heart. Soothing the soul. It goes to hope they purchase. But I no longer need a piece of mind. Just float on and let it eat me down the love. I know my best days to the slave to a dollar. Okay guys, I am about to leave to go thrifting with Amanda and Lauren. I am so excited for this video. We've been planning this thrift trip for so long and today is the day. We're gonna be hitting multiple value villages. We're driving to Mississauga and we're just gonna see what's out there. I have never thrifted in Mississauga before. I typically go to the same value village every time I thrift. So this is the perfect way to switch it up. But yeah, the sun is shining today. I'm having already such an amazing morning and I just can't wait to see everything that we come across while thrifting. I feel like going the extra mile, literally going the extra mile and going to a new thrift store is always so worth it because the same people donate to the thrift store you go to all the time. It's usually people that live in the area. I also have so much clarity as to what I need to bring into my wardrobe. If you watched my last Come Thrift With Me, I definitely dove into that in extreme detail referencing my journal. But just to briefly go over it, I need maxi skirts, I need tops, I need formal wear, and I need dresses. I would say those are the main things I'm really lacking in my wardrobe. So we're going to be keeping an eye out for all of those things. I do want to show you guys my outfit before I leave because it's so cute. So I'm wearing my polka dot adidas jacket. The polka dots go all over the jacket, under the logo. It's borderline clown in the best way, I feel like. I've never worn this and not gotten a compliment. I'm not kidding. Like, I think it's just a little bit of a show-stopping piece, if I do say so. And then I'm wearing my new tank top from Aritzia. They just came out with hip-length tank tops and tube tops. So me, Amanda, and Lauren have already placed our orders, and obviously I own it already, because I don't even remember the last time I was able to buy a full-length basic. Like, stores only sell crop things. It's part of the contour line, so it's really thick, opaque, it is pretty perfect, so if you guys are looking for full length basics, I definitely recommend checking out Aritzia, like, it's great. And then I'm wearing this black maxi skirt that I thrifted in Florida. It's so simple, like, it's just a cotton, stretchy black maxi skirt with some braiding-ish band detail going on. Maxi skirts are such a good transition piece into the springtime. Like, I'm gonna be warm wearing this. I'm doing my DKNY flats that I thrifted. They have a little strap to keep your foot in. And then I'm doing my everyday black purse. Really cute. And then I like love calling my own shit really cute. I'm like, really cute, you didn't know. And then my denier leather jacket, which, oh my God, I'm so hot right now putting this on, but I will show you. The way this jacket looks with a maxi skirt is so flattering. It's just the perfect silhouette. I feel very chic. Before I leave to go meet Amanda and Lauren, I do want to talk to you guys about Magic Mind, who is also the sponsor of today's video. So this is what I was sipping on all morning as I was doing my little morning routine. But Magic Mind has created the world's first productivity shot. It's a two ounce shot that offers seven to eight hours of a productive flow state. And it literally just tastes like matcha. And I like to have it either hot or cold. Today I was feeling hot, so I just steamed some almond milk and then added it right over the two ounce shot. This shot is full of ingredients that help boost your energy, but then also allow you to maintain a balance through the day so that you don't experience the same crash and burn that coffee can lead to. It's a blend of matcha, nootropics, and adaptogens without sugar and crazy amounts of caffeine. As you saw, it comes in this tiny little bottle, which is so cute. And this shot contains vitamins like vitamin B, C, and D. I love my morning ritual, drinking my magic mind, matcha, journaling in my bed. If there's one thing I love, it's having a beverage in the morning. If you guys want to give magic mind a shot, you can use my discount code AmandaS20 to get 56% off your first order. Also, Magic Mind has a 60-day money-back guarantee if you're not satisfied. So I'll leave a link below for you guys to shop if you're interested. I'm going to quickly finish this and then leave to meet Amanda and Lauren because I definitely need to go now.
Okay guys, let's embark on this thrift extravaganza together. Amanda, Lauren, and I hit four value villages in Mississauga. In the first value village, I started off in the shirt section because that is definitely a category I'm looking to build up in my wardrobe. I never go for a v-neck, but I think just because this one was so extreme, I was a little bit intrigued by it. This is exactly what I need in my wardrobe, a more formal tank top that I can wear to any occasion and easily dress up. I thought the square neck was really elegant and just kind of classic, so I added this to the cart. At the thrift, I think it's pretty easy for tops to be kind of whatever. It's really just dependent on fit so I thought I would pick up this white tee just because it has a little cap sleeve some ruching if it fits well it could be cute I love finding the Amanda collection at the thrift it's so aligning to me although this was the ugliest shirt I've ever seen and then I found some really classic white and black tank tops I have three tank tops by this brand body blue but they're all cami style they're not these ribbed racer backs so I thought I would add these to the cart I personally can never have enough tank tops again kind of whatever but could be cute okay heather gray cap sleeve t-shirt i found this xoxo tank top it was not actually by the brand xoxo unfortunately it was missing a one two rhinestone which did throw me off because it kind of ruins the vibe i'm really trying to find unique baby tees so this caught my eye but honestly when I looked at it later on with the man and Lauren, I was like, absolutely not. The color is this kind of off cream. It just was not flattering at all. The cut, everything, no. I am desperately trying to find some cute wearable lingerie pieces, specifically silk tank tops. I'm just like, I see myself in the summer wearing that on a balcony. I didn't find any at this thrift. Some OG Victoria's Secret pajama pants. These were size extra small, so they wouldn't have had the baggy fit that I want, but these are literally my dream pajama pants, honestly. Amanda and Lauren have definitely inspired my cardigan. I'm not even gonna call it a phase because it's almost a new lifestyle I'm tapping into. They wear cardigans all the time. So when I saw this gray Costa Blanca cardigan, I was like, guys, look what I found. Um, Cause this is a different kind of piece for me. I love that the buttons are also gray. They blend right into the cardigan. I found this sweater t-shirt vibe, which I thought was so cute. I'm obsessed with gray. So honestly, anything gray, I'm just going in the guard. This skirt, I literally did jaw drop because I've been manifesting a kilt that is cotton. So it's wearable, lightweight. And then in this Burberry plaid, you've got to be kidding me. Imagine this with the XOXO tank top. That's what I'm talking about with the subtle red coordination. Okay, my idea with this skirt is to fold over this massive band. It could be a maternity skirt. I honestly don't know. But folding that over and having an extreme low rise thick bandy yoga skirt. I love the raw edge, the center of the skirt, but this is my least favorite fit of skirt, I have to be honest. When it's almost a midi length and it's tight, it's just not flattering to me. Okay, in the sleeveless tops, I found this magazine tube top that I've thrifted before and I've actually sold on Depop because it didn't fit me. So I was like, okay, maybe, you know, this one's gonna be a better fit. This is exactly what I'm talking about when I'm saying Missoni Beach vibe. Missoni's a stretch because these colors are not in line with that brand, but the stripes, the tie, I just imagine this with a tiny mini skirt and my clear Y Project heels. You know what I mean? So I added this to the cart for the summer, okay? For the sake of summer. This is a perfect find to me, a classic tank top with an extra little detail. In this case, this popcorn-y texture immediately in the cart, full length, love it. With this sweater, unfortunately, Costa Blanca dropped the ball. It's a really off tone of brown to me, but I still added it to the cart. The shoe section was a little bit overwhelming. It was really big. I actually only found one pair. I need you to immediately imagine the removal of that silver tab and then just having these all pink mesh belly flats with a bow, so cute. Somebody clearly donated their whole Costa Blanca collection because I found this cream moto leather jacket. It is a little bit wrinkled, <laughs> a lot wrinkled actually. And I don't know, it wasn't giving what past Costa Blanca jackets have given me, which is the heart attack when I see them because I'm so in shock, but I still added it to the cart. We're gonna try her on and see, okay? This find was also inspired by Man and Lauren. They're really into this tunic length top dress moment. And then I found more of the satin tank tops, which I feel like is actually a curse in the thrift store when you find multiple of the same thing. It's just not sitting well with me. I don't know, it feels wrong. And then we checked out the women's hoodies. This was the last section I checked. So the growth is real, okay? Usually I'm running to this section first 
thing. I didn't find anything, honestly, that's crazy because I've never left my go-to Valley Village without finding a hoodie, at least one. Me, Amanda, and Lauren are now gonna share all of our finds with you and then I'm gonna try them all on. We just spent probably like only 45 minutes. Yeah, like an hour. Pretty quick. We're doing a lot of thrifts today, so we're quick with it. But we're gonna show you everything that we picked up before we try it all on and decide what we're gonna get. Very basic haul. All that neutrals. looks like the gray top you just got. I know. Kind of vibe. But it's tight. I know. I don't know if I like the neck, but I it's a question it mark. I like the I like, I like the, the stretch color. of the fabric and the color. The same theme. <laughs> a gray cardigan. What brand is that one? This one's H and M. I don't know if it's like a size I like because I like how that one's a bit tight. Yeah. A little tight. A little sexy. So I don't know. This blue cardigan. I was hoping it would be more of a royal blue. Mm -hmm. Like. I've never seen you in a color like that. I don't so, like that color. I was, I like the cut, but not the color. But I was like, mm, maybe if I had like dark hair. <laughs> I feel like that color is perfect for blonde hair. I don't know. I've, I've never it worn be... it, but I really like the cut. So I wish it was in like a light gray or like a <laughs> neutral gray. <laughs> Royal I'm just black. I'm and dead. It was gray. More conservative mm -hmm. wear. Costa Blanca blazer. I found a lot of Costa Blanca stuff. Actually. Depending on how long it is, it could be really. Like could be really like snatched. Yeah. And it like has a nice stretch. It's close to my face, so obviously. I'm really in my like cons conservative core. Hey, yeah. This coat, it's like brand Last Kiss. I don't know. But Cute. Like, okay, everybody's it into nice. this like collar right now. Yeah, I feel if like. it fits nice. I'm, I'm like, I'm really iffy about these strings, but like mm. I would. Pick I guess them you, off you could. Or like but let them drag. Oh my god, the flat. Sam Edelman. They're saying they're size nine. Oops. They look kind of big, but these are perfect. Eight. Amanda. Okay. It's a full car. Just grabbed this at the last second. I don't know if it's cute or not, but I kind of like the gray. Yeah, the, it's the for, fucking gray. I've been the... doing more workout classes, so. I don't know if this is cute either, but it's kind of stretchy. Yeah, it also just totally depends on the fit. I just yeah. got a blazer that does this too, like circular hem, and it's really flattering. If I it like fits the dark. Well. Blazer with nothing yeah. underneath and is my vibe. And if it fits nicely with like, also, if you had a matching denim to that, it would be super cute. I love a dark denim, so kind Ooh. of trench coats. So I don't have a trench. Me neither. This one's like a mid, not too heavy. It is missing its trench band. Like it's I know, but I don't really strength. like the ties. Like you wear them open anyways. Yeah. Um, or there's this trench, which I actually kind of like. I like one. that one as well. Oh my god, those are both really cute. I need staple a trench, trench for spring. And it's not too long because I hate when it's like kind of swallowed. That one also looks like it'd be warmer. It has a nice yeah. lining. London Fog, classic. Okay, I don't know if I like this, but I've been really hunting for like vintage <laughs> bench, like more like archivey looking bench yeah. sweaters. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I love this, the gray. But I don't love the chartreuse. I think the sleeves look a little short. short. I just picked it up. This might be a bit ugly, but. I like the button. This over like mm -hmm. No, I get the vision. Pants. Yeah. If it didn't fit weird. Yeah. So I've been really looking for like tunic top dresses. Yeah. And I love the chateau. Um, I don't know if this is really ugly, but I might want to cut out the lining mm -hmm. and have it like a long mm -hmm. something. But I don't know if that's my cut either. That might be a little DIY project. Oh, another tunic. Little BB. Mm -hmm. Tunic top dress. I don't know. This is a skirt. I don't know if I like this. I just picked it up. Mm. I think also it just depends on the fit. I think it might be too flared, not as tight as I want it. Yeah, with that flared. length. This is probably a no. These trousers. So Aussie girl. I know. I don't know. If, I just want them to be low. Oh, cute. And gray, and I like the gray color. They so look I like wanted to try this on. Yeah, those are actually really good. Um, Maybe you can ask. Because like, I just think the room. waistband looks low, and they're like a little Do you loose. try on pants the thrift, or do you just like... Typically, yes. I'm right the right. Yeah. Um, we'll wear like leggings or something like Because I could put them on even under the skirt. This is maybe rough. you or I can put the tunic on and then take my pants. Yeah. All of my trousers used to fit like up here. So I've been looking for ones yeah, down really here. Oh, I like this green velvet moment. Velvets. <laughs> That's super this cute. This might be too small on me. It's Shoulders cute. and arm wise. But very guess. It's kind of like army indie yeah, type I like of jacket. Civil so word, civil word. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I love those type with the double breasted. Also depends on I the I like thing. how it's like girly. It looks a little yeah. big, but. This might be a bit too big for me, but I think like Pumas kind of run small. Oh my God, those are so fucking cute. If those fit. With the knee sock. Yeah, with like, I yeah, love knee those. sock skirt. Yeah. 
vibe. Okay, first thing I picked up is this bootleg Burberry moment. I'm hoping it fits really low-waisted. And also I find with all the kilts I have, because they're wool, they're so itchy, but this is just like cotton, so it'd be perfect for summer. I found this, this was like one of the first things I found. And then I found five more of these, did you see these? Yeah, I picked up three just in case. But it's like this little silk square neck tank top. So I got like two of those. I picked up this. Cute. This reminds me of the shape of the top you guys got at the the diesel B plus one? market, yeah. Which I would never normally choose, but I feel like it's so flattering with like a bigger chest. Actually. I like how it's tight in the mid section. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. This is definitely like pretty cheap material. So I'm yeah. thinking a little steam room. Okay, this is a Casablanca jacket, but it kind of looks like really cheap though. The other leather jacket I got recently, the dark brown mm -hmm. one, is way higher quality than this. Um, it's kind of giving like the creases would have to yeah come out. Have to and how do you do that out. with leather a steamer I mean yeah we'll see but this shade without a tan I feel like is wash washing not it. cute so for it being a, a little coat, too cool I don't know if that's the vibe honestly don't even like this but it's Casablanca so I picked it <laughs> somebody donated their whole collection I like the cut. I, I mean, don't do V-necks normally, but I feel like you guys have not tried before. If I was choosing up my outfit, I Rich think this is the last thing I'd ever grab for. But it's only $4.99. This volleyball is definitely way cheaper than the one I typically go to. Okay, this I thought was cool. I like that. The black, just like classic tank with some texture. Also, I'm constantly looking for long tank tops to add into my wardrobe, so cute. I like that. This is really outside of my comfort zone. I've never owned anything like this. Again, I like the loose and then tight moment. And I feel like in Italy in the summer with a tan, even with the clear Melissa heels yeah. and like a little skirt, it could be a vibe. So, I think it's very summery. Yeah. I trust in you making it work. Okay, I literally, sorry, I have so much it. I actually used to own this and sold it on Depop because it didn't fit me. It's this red scrunch too by the brand Magazine. So we'll see if this one fits better. If not, Maybe I'll buy it and sell it again. I don't know. And then this Casablanca cardigan. Oh, I know, I like but it's really one. mini, so I don't know how the buttons will do, but I really like the buttons. That's amazing. The matching gray with the band is cute. Perfect. So we'll try that. And then, okay, I was thinking, I think this is a maternity gap, but imagine you folded this band over to like here. Yeah. And it was like really bandy, and then I would honestly like, cut and re-sew this skirt to make it like a tiny mini skirt with a massive band. I like that. And then this is like a full lingerie moment, honestly. But I like the back. Oh yeah. And it's just like really, I don't know. Even like a bathing suit camera. Yeah, right. I feel like I could get away with wearing this out somehow. And if this is like not too low, slash even if it is too low, it could be like a vibe. These are the shoes I picked up, which I like the mesh vibe, like it's kind of sporty, but I would take these off immediately. And then just have like a mesh, with a bow. I think that could be cute. I don't own any flats that are like scrunchy like this, but also to throw in your bag if you're wearing heels, these would be perfect. Okay, I don't know. Like, this is... The, I feel like the white mm -hmm. is too... It's yellow. Too yeah, out. right? I mean, it's too yellow. I just have no baby tees, but I honestly feel like I bought this in like grade 8 and kind of hate it. This too is missing a rhinestone. That's cool. But like, even this with the Burberry skirt would be kind of cute. Yeah. And then I kind of like the cut of this also. It's just gray. And I, like I love... Gray, so a little cap sleeve here. yeah like if it fits well and then these two tank tops by body blue black and white really long just like classic that's nice this is really questionable with the like scrunch but it's kind of double kind of lined like so i feel like it'd be opaque and if it fits well it could be cute if it like falls right in the chest yeah like if it fits cute. perfectly it'd be cute and then i honestly i'm not even trying to try this on but i just thought like i hate v-necks but since it's such a v-neck with like a specific bra it could be cute it's definitely a better v-neck like because it has this yeah. you know last thing is just another one of the silk tops that i think is actually more my size okay now we have all of this to try on This was giving motherly. That's what I said in this clip. It's not cute. No, no. This was Amanda's find. It didn't fit her, so I tried it, and it was definitely too tight on me, but so cute. I love the color. The Costa Blanca jacket is cute, of course, but it did look a little bit cheap. The leather was kind of thin, which is why it was so wrinkled, 
and I just feel like the color wasn't the most flattering. Like it kind of made me look a little bit dead. I did like this cardigan. I feel like it looked a little bit small, especially with the top button pulling. And it's just a bit out of my comfort zone with how v-necky it is. I don't know. I just don't know if I would see myself wearing it. So I ended up giving it to Amanda and she bought it immediately. Unfortunately, this skirt is so high-waisted above my belly button, which not only do I not like the look of, but it's so uncomfortable. This tube top is too big and obviously a tube top needs to fit or it's not gonna stay up. I'm definitely not crazy about this tone of brown and I also don't really love the fit or the sweater itself. So I did not purchase. The fit of this tank top was great, but the fullness and the texture totally disappeared when I put it on because it was being stretched. So it looked very geometric. Like these just look like triangles, which I was not a fan of. This definitely is not the cutest top I've ever seen, but I did think there was potential, but only with it being off the shoulder and naturally it would kind of come up into this horrible, I don't even know, like squared V-neck. There was nothing crazy about these tank tops. Obviously they're just basics, but they just weren't that comfortable. And the white one was completely see-through. And then this t-shirt was really whatever. This slip was too big for me. It just looked a little bit awkward. So I actually didn't end up buying anything at all, which is kind of in line with the way that I normally thrift. Like I'm not always buying things. Amanda and Lauren did pick up some amazing pieces. Amanda got that trench coat and then those really cute Puma shoes. Stop one complete. Okay, Value Village number two. And the first thing I was blessed with were these one teaspoon shorts. I've already ordered a pair off of Poshmark, white ones. I really did manifest these on the rack, okay? Like I've been talking about one teaspoon. So I was excited to try these on because they were also a smaller size than the ones that I ordered. <laughs> they didn't fit, they were too small. Also the distressing was super extreme. Somebody definitely wore these. This skirt was incredible this midi length bubble skirt it's perfect the gray the black it kind of has a sheen to it i would buy this at a pop-up for 40 dollars. do you know what i mean so i added this to the car i was also so excited to share it with amanda and lauren me and amanda and lauren have the exact same style so thrifting with each other is fun because it's like oh my god look what i found but also it's like bitch you found that where i want it this honestly is a perfect piece to me this I would wear every single day if it wasn't as itchy as it was, which now I'm thinking that is why it's in the thrift store. I found this really cute gray sweater with two white stripes along the sleeve and a little star detail on the front pocket. The V-neck is just way too extreme for me and I don't think it's cute with a tank top underneath. You'll see it when I try it on, but I just would never wear this because it's not so comfortable that I would wear it at home and I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing it out, so. And then I saw this classic white garage hoodie with some beige detailing on it. I wheeled over to the bag section, which was huge. I feel like recently at the thrift, I've had no luck with bags, and the bag section used to hit for me. Like, I was finding three bags every time I would go thrifting. Let's get into trying on all my pieces. Lauren picked up this guest sweater, which she didn't like, so I tried it on. She also picked up that H&M black cardigan for me. And then you guys saw all of the other things I found. I had to start with this plaid bubble skirt. It was so incredible, but high-waisted. And again, I mean, I could wear a long top with it and cover the fact that it's high-waisted, but it's just not comfortable to me and I just do not gravitate towards wearing high-waisted things. This gray sweater was really cute, but as I said, it's just not a piece that I would be wearing. This guest sweater was new with tags and so comfortable, but it's just not really something that I would be grabbing for. If I found this two years ago, I would have actually died. This is an amazing sweater. As I mentioned, everything is perfect about it, except for the fact that it's so itchy. I also picked up this brown blazer jacket and it fit well, it was comfortable, but it didn't give anything crazy that would stand out in my wardrobe. So I decided not to get it. And then with a lot of contemplation, like way too much, I decided to get this black cardigan and I've already worn it since. It's actually perfect. It serves the same purpose as my track jackets do, but it's more dressy. So I've been able to wear it to a cute dinner and stay warm while also looking a little bit chic. So that's all I picked up, this cardigan that was originally H&M size extra small, super cute. They do still sell it at H&M. I actually saw it the other day when I was at the mall. Amanda and Lauren also picked up a bunch of things and then we made our way to the next Value Village. This is number three. I got right into showing you guys my finds and try-ons. The first thing we're gonna try on is this aqua blue Adidas jacket. I don't love the color, okay, it's not my favorite, but 
With Adidas, I feel like I'm keen to try anything because I just love my track jackets. It was definitely too tight. Like I'm wearing a tight cami underneath and you can see the lines of it. So I decided not to get it. This dress is only cute because it's from the early 2000s. Like I can imagine Shein selling this. And if I sell this on the rack with a Shein tag, I actually don't know how I would act. But the quality of it is amazing. It's so thick. The embroidery with the stars, it says, babe. And I just think it's so cute. Like imagine me wearing this with my white project heels, you know what I mean? And a little red matching bag. It's exactly what I've been looking to add into my wardrobe, a comfy but unique dress to wear on vacation. I found this white cargo skirt by the brand Fire and Ice. I love the tag on the back, but the fit just wasn't anything crazy. I don't love the length and I just don't see myself pulling this out of my wardrobe to ever wear it. The vision was there with this seduction skirt. I'm not crazy about the belt just because it looks super cheap, but if it fit really mini without being tight, it would be perfect. Unfortunately, it actually didn't fit at all. So I did not get a try on clip. This is one of my favorite finds of the whole trip. This tartan skirt by the brand Sandwich. And I'm now keeping my eye out for this brand. The fit of this is amazing. This hits exactly where I want it to on my hips. The length, you guys know I'm in a maxi skirt phase right now. I love them. I've already worn this. I'm looking at this while editing like in awe. <laughs> I think they could be cute. Try, you have to try it on though. They don't have like the right pants. I mean, <laughs> you need to do it. What? <laughs> No, what? I'm wearing jeans. <laughs> I picked up this baby doll puffy sleeve plaid dress. It was definitely too short to be worn as a dress, which kind of is the only way that I would wear it. I just thought it would be an easy thing to throw on again on vacation or something, but it didn't hit. I found this red and white gingham skirt, but I just did not have it in me to try it on. Also, it was the same length as the white one that I didn't like. I'm super into this blazer style jacket. This one had a tie detail, but after putting it on, you know, I was like, what weather am I wearing this in? Because the fact that it just has this tie, wind will go right through me. It's not actually gonna keep me warm and I don't need it. It is really fucking cute actually, but. Okay, we pushed through for this last location. I can't lie, I was like, do you guys really wanna go? But thank God we did because I found this, well, actually I did not find this. Amanda found this and she blessed me with it. This vintage guess army green bomber are you kidding me this is literally like i could have only bought this and the sandwich skirt i basically did <laughs> and i would have been happy just this jacket is enough to justify going to all four of these thrift stores this is incredible it fits me perfectly there's so much room i'm not restricted it's so warm i've worn it with my sandwich skirt and it's just the perfect fucking outfit amanda picked up this bench denim jacket which is so cute on her. I also found this French Connection sweater, which is just a throwback piece. Haven't worn one of these in a while. The pockets were in the most awkward spot though. So I was like, no. I also just do not need this to be honest. And we all agreed. And then this jacket is such a funny find to end this video off on because I look like a circus leader. But I hope you guys enjoyed this different kind of come thrift with me. A little bit more chill, also a lot more thrifting. Oh my God, this was like nine hours of thrifting, honestly. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Cause you know the shit I kick Pimp and keep my pocket stick On you funky shady bitches Having you hoes clock on my bitches